What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of FPS dropping, stuttering issue you're currently having with Dark and Darker. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. In the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. So if you stick to the end, I will show you every single step which helped me to reduce it or completely solve this problem. I will show you a lot of um, like things you can do about it. So guys, the first thing I want you to do is going to be really, really simple. I want you to basically go to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to right click, uh, you're going to click your Windows settings or you're going to click, uh, click your Windows key on your keyboard and you're going to click onto settings. So once your settings pop up, I want you to basically go to gaming and this will help you a lot with your FPS dropping issues. So um, as you can see, we're sticking to Xbox game bar and the Xbox game bar yeah, you need to turn this off. It's a lot of trouble for especially low-end PCs, which have the Xbox Game Bar turned on. You don't want it. You just need to keep this off. And yeah, who wants something running in the background, which will just affect your performance in general? If you have a shit PC, it doesn't really work. So um, afterwards, go to Captures. You're going like, to uh, left click on the uh, left-hand side. And now you're going to go to, or I want you to go to Background Recording. And... Go to record in the background while I'm playing a game and obviously turn this off, guys. If you want to record something, I want you to use something like me, OBS, so Open Broadcaster Studio, uh, which is made for um, recording games, recording your screen, not Windows. And especially if you have running something in the background, which is recording, you don't want that. Why you would want that? So just turn this off. Keep it in mind. It will help you a lot. And also record this just... If you have it off, of course, if you want really to record something, just go in 30 minutes, please. And also turn off audio because you don't want to record audio in the background. Um, next thing, go to game mode, left hand side. And now it's really not difficult, but you need to check it for yourself. I want you to uh, tell this because on my PC, it's working better with uh, game mode on. On some PC, it, PCs, it won't. So you need to check it for yourself. Turn it on, check it, turn it off, check it. Which one uh, is working better? You stick with the option. So uh, what I want you to do next is going to be to simply end this task. Uh, next thing is going to be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen, to your taskbar, and it could also be on the right or the left hand side or top. <laughs> You're going to right click it, uh, click onto task manager. This will then pop up your task manager. Yeah, as you can see, um, I want you to uh, stick to processes. I want you to stick to processes. Uh, now you can see CPU and GPU usage. So I want you to click onto GPU first and end every single task running the background or in the applications um, task, which is having too much GPU usage and you don't need. So especially, I mean, if your game is launching or is um, currently running, you don't want to end it, but uh, something, re Razer Synapse, I don't know, something which is currently taking too much GPU usage, you're gonna simply right click it and click on to end task. So once you're finished with the GPU, you're gonna do the same things to uh, CPU. So right click on it, do the same thing, uh, really simple. And um, yes, guys, next thing is going to be to simply go to details. So left hand side on the top, go to details. And now my game isn't running. I don't want to start it right now, but it will work the same thing. I will just do, will just do the two year game with uh, what I'm doing to Creative Cloud. So you're going to right click it, go to set priority. And once you click set priority, you're going to click or on high or above normal. So once of do those two things, you need to check it for yourself, which is currently uh, working better with your PC. Depends on which PC you're currently using. So check it. I don't know if it's working, which one is working better for you. So check it. And afterwards, click on the start up, left hand, uh, left hand side, top corner again. And now, guys, a lot, a lot of um, problems start here. So if you have too many programs which are starting when you start your PC and which are running in the background without you even knowing that, of course, on a low-end PC, it will cause FPS drops. Too many programs running in the background will cause FPS drops. So what I want you to do is really simple. Go to the programs which, which you don't want to, to run in general and click on to, uh, right-click it and click on to disable. That's simple. So once you're finished with that, you can also uh, close your task manager again. Um, next thing, what I want you to do is going to be to uh, open up your settings again. So um, go to the bottom left corner, click on the Windows symbol or hit your Windows key, click on to settings. Now I want you to go to uh, system. Once you're at system, I want you to basically identify which your mo main monitor is if you have two, like I have this one and this one. So for me, it's this one, which I'm playing games on. So uh, the first one, 
Once you identified it, go down to scale and layout. I want you to change the size of text apps and other items to 100% as recommended. And the display resolution, really, really important, guys, should be the same as in game. So if you have in game something like 7020 by 1070, I want you to change the uh, your monitor's resolution to your in game's resolution or your in game's resolution to your monitor resolution. But you have the same have the same resolution in general. So just keep that in mind. If you have in, in game 1070, uh, 10, uh, 7020 by 1070, you need to change your display resolution to that or you need to change your in game resolution to your monitor resolution. That's simple. Uh, next thing, I want you to go to Power and Sleep. What I want you to do here is really simple. Here you can do anything, it doesn't really work. So nothing screen sleep doesn't really work. Go to additional power settings on the right hand side. And now you need to click on this little check mark to open up all your uh, additional power plants. So for me, it's working better or best with balanced, but some PCs won't. So you need to check it for yourself. High, balanced, high tech power saver. Check it, take your time, check it, and it will help you a ton. So just trust me, guys, just check it. Once you're finished with that, it will take you a while. You're going to go to storage. Click on to configure, configure storage sense or run it now. What I want you to do here is really simple. Check uh, or turn it on, storage sense. Now you need to run storage sense every week. Delete temporary files uh, that my apps aren't using. Check that. Delete files. I would do that every 14 days or every day. <laughs> Can do it if you want, but I don't really think it's worth it. So delete files. My download folder is haven't been open for more than sixty days, of course. And um, now you need to click on clean. Now I won't do that because it will take a lot of time. So just do that by yourself, and it will help you a ton. Go back once. Twice, my bad. <laughs> and click on to update in security. And now, guys, I think you know that it will sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single driver you're currently having on your PC, especially Windows or whatever you're using, it will help you a ton with every issue you're currently having. Just trust me and update every single driver you could currently update, starting with Windows. So as you can see, I need to restart my PC because there's an update. I will do that. And uh, once you're finished with that, I uh, simply want you to also do the same thing for your uh, dri drivers. So your graphics card driver, really simple. Just... Um, Go to NVIDIA GeForce, for me it's NVIDIA GeForce, I don't know what you're using, but uh, I'm using NVIDIA GeForce for that, so um, yeah. You need to go to your NVIDIA GeForce or your graphics card driver and download the latest version because some games need the right uh, driver's version to store it or to uh, run the best. So just keep in mind that you want your drivers updated. And the next thing I want you to do is going to be to right click on your desktop, for me it's NVIDIA Gro Control Panel. I'm gonna open this up, wait a little bit. So now again, you need to check um, which resolution is working the best on your PC in your game, but for me, it's the native one. Uh, next thing, go to 3D settings on the left-hand side. You're gonna click on that, adjust image settings with preview. And now, as you can see, there is um, use my preference and phrasing. I'm using quality, my PC is working with that. If you want to uh, increase your performance, increase your FPS, reduce your FPS drops, you need to obviously take this and drag it back to performance. So um, yeah, you need to just do that. Once you finish with that, you can basically close this one also. And uh, yeah, guys, that should be it for the video. I hope that I could really help you out with this one. 